Hi guys, welcome back. This is a iconic game for the Sega Master System, Afterburner. Another Sega game designed by the legendary Yu Suzuki. Afterburner is quite difficult. I've tried to make several videos of the gameplay of this game, but because I wasn't very good, the videos were too short. So let's see how far I can get this time. There is a supposedly a cheap way of getting through several levels of this game, but um, I don't want to sink to that level of playing and you know manipulating the game to get through the levels easier. I want to get through, I want to play the game as it was intended. And game I'm playing on the, I'm playing with the original Sega Master System cartridge. I remember this game fondly in the arcades because it was one of the, one of the first games, it might not have been the first game, but it was one of the early games I can remember where you could sit, it was like a cockpit and you sat inside the arcade cabinet and there was all kinds of movements trying to simulate being in a fighter jet. The, music, the Sega Match system doesn't do the music as much justice as the arcade machine do, did because the minute you sat in the arcade machine and put the your credits in it just sound, sounded amazing. But this is the home port that I got to play when I was younger and I suppose that goes for a lot of other gamers. I think with the, what they tried to do with the Sega Master System port of the game, they tried to make it look that good in close to the arcade machine that the game struggles, you know, the Master System struggles a bit with it and you get a low frame rate. I think sometimes with the low frame rate, yeah, their missiles which lock onto you are on top of you before you notice them sometimes. I'm lucky if I get past this stage, so we'll see how well I do. Yep, that's right, stage 2 is difficult for me. I'm not sure if the reason I'm bad at the game is because I suck at afterburning or the frame rate making the game harder. There seems to be unlimited uh, heat seeking missiles on the Sega Mass system. Um, and I'm sure, if I can remember correctly, I'm, I could be wrong, it's been a long time. But when playing in the arcade, I'm pretty sure you have a limited amount of missiles, so you have to use them sparingly. But like I say, on the Sega Mass system, you seem to have unlimited missiles. I believe Afterburner is one of the Sega Master System games, or should I say Sega Mark III games that support the FM sound and it sounds a lot better than your hearing it ear a lot better so if you've got a Sega Mark III and the FM adapter the game will sound different or obviously if you've modified a Sega Master System with me having a lot of Sega Master System games I thought this would be a great way to keep creating content for my channel because I'm mainly arcade based but a lot of arcade games were ported to the Sega Master System obviously they aren't as good as the arcade hardware but when we were young we used to think <laughs> we used to think these are the, the best thing ever Well there goes another jet, I wonder if I'll make it to the next stage. Oh, I, I, I really struggle, I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to do this. I'm trying to line up my craft with uh, this thing, but it just flies off before I can even <laughs> uh, attach myself to it. I assume it must give me extra, give me some lives back or something. I believe in the arcade version it would re fill your missiles but you are unlimited in this game and game over I told you I wouldn't last very long 
But this is the longest I've lasted in the game since I've been replaying it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like more people to watch my video, but I'm also making these videos for myself. I like to archive my games. See you again, my retro gaming friends.